This is lesson 317, so if you want to open your books to that. This is, uh, I, I really like this lesson. Um, it's such a, such a powerful thought that we are always directed. I think sometimes we just feel we're, we're kind of in this alone. We're kind of just a boat without a rudder. We don't quite know what's going on. We just get up every day and, you know, it's a, it's a, a series of uh, just mishaps. And what this is saying is we really have a special place to fill, even though it may seem like things are just happening at random to us. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that the world is always so, so uh, systematically planned. What it means is we always have a path. And the path that we have always is to remember the truth, remember who we are. That is our goal. When it says, I follow in the way appointed me, in a very general sense, the, cor the Course would say your job is to accept the atonement for yourself. And the atonement, according to it, says uh, the purpose of a miracle worker, which is all of us, the teacher of God, is to accept the atonement for themselves, is to know our interests are not apart from someone else's. You know, that says in the manual for teachers, the sole responsibility of a teacher of God is, you, anybody who wants to be a teacher of God, you, you can be one. Your sole responsibility is to not see the needs of another as different from yours. So we need to know that what is good for the goose is good for the gander. You know, that the old saying, I mean, that this is, that we are in this together. And that's kind of what that little safety pin was, you know. I'm standing with you no matter what. Whether I understand or agree or can get it, you know, I'm with you. Uh, and that we are safe no matter where we are. And the Course is always telling us, you know, when it says here, I have a special, it's telling us, each and every one of us, that we have a special place to fill, a role for me alone. And uh, maybe we've all said, oh, I'd like to know what I'm supposed to do. What's my special thing to do? Well, your special thing is to accept the atonement for yourself. Your special thing is to awaken to the truth that is all around you right here, right now. You know, it's a, it's a mighty challenge, to ex if you will, to accept the atonement for yourself. It's a mighty challenge to not see someone else's interests as apart from yours. It's easier with people you know and like. It's a lot harder with people that you may not like or may not think you like. But we all want exactly the same thing out of li things out of life. We want peace, and we want our happiness, we want joy. You know, so it's, it's not that hard to think of that, and then to know even a little deeper that what we wish for another, what we hold for another, is the same thing we wish and hold for ourselves. So accepting the atonement for ourselves is finally accepting our realization of who and what we are. Finally knowing all parts of us instead of only little aspects of us. Um, I think they've always said, you know, like, I, I don't know about you, but I don't know much about how the human body works, and yet I've lived with this body for quite a few years. I don't understand it all, do you? Uh, I don't think most doctors, I think the human body is a continuing maze and experience for all of us, and yet this is where we are housed, and we know so little about it. You know, we don't know that much about our brains, and yet it seems to be, or the mind, it seems to be what makes us function and work, and we know so little about it. You know, and what this is saying here is we know so little about what it is we are supposed to do, but there is one in us. You know, there is a part of us. And what does that mean in us? I don't know if that means inside here or up here or all around or what that is, but there is a truth within us that does know that does have a path for us to follow, that does know exactly what will uh, transpire to make, to be, for us to awaken to the truth, for us to find our way home. And it says that, that's the role for you alone. It is your path. But your path, although different in the world, is same in content to accept the atonement for yourself, to awaken to the truth to clear away all the barriers that block us from love's presence. Salvation, it says, waits until I take this part as what I choose to do. Now, what that means is every day I get up and I decide what it is I am going to do, where my focus is going to be. It may be on judgment today. It may be anger today. It may be the simplest things that I get upset about today. But that takes my attention away from the truth. It's the distractions. You know, that's what the Course talks about. The ego loves to distract. 
You know, it's, it's, it's all of its distractions. It's big smoke and mirrors. And as long as you look there, you never look at where the problem is. It's the great magician. You know, we all see ads for, I don't know why, on television I've seen so many ads for David Blaine. Is there something coming up with here, this big magician, you know? And it used to be David Copperfield. Now it's David Blaine. And then it, and there's so many magicians. And the whole point of a magician is to always distract you, right? And they get you to look over here, and never is the trick done where the, d the magician wants you to look. It's always done where they don't want you to look. It's deceptive. It's, it's uh, pointing you in the wrong direction all the time. You know, the pull the rabbit out of the hat, but the trick is done down below the hat. You know, so it's the same thing for us. The ego is a deceptive thought that keeps us looking outside of ourselves when the answer is really inside. Keeps us looking at the difference when the answer is really finding our unity. Keeps us looking for all the solutions to the world when the answer is really accepting the atonement for ourselves. Accepting each other. Not in the forms that people do, not in our ego actions, but in the truth of who we are, the essence of who we are. And the greatest example of that was the life of Jesus, who loved even those who betrayed him, even those who attacked him, and even those who finally killed him. He kept seeing the truth even there and saying to us, you do not have to, you know, wander away any longer. You don't have to be crucified. You can awaken to the truth in joy. It is possible for you.